I think that this environment, the prairie environment, a little bit of isolation is a really good thing for creativity. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in the busyness of a large uh, urban area and a small urban area stuck in the middle of the prairies is a pretty great place to encounter creative thought. I mean, Lethbridge is just, it's a, it's a nice uh, close-knit community too. Like it's, you don't feel, I don't, I don't feel isolated. Like if you want to connect in the arts community, it's easy. And I think that is one of the advantages of being in a smaller center is that our, our arts community crosses all disciplines and, and people know each other. You know somebody knows somebody who knows somebody for just about anything you need or want or are interested in. So we, we like to refer to it as a gym club for artists. It's just really open and it I think allows your thought process to be really open. Yeah, I would say lots, lots of hugely creative people living and working in this community. Like I know Lethbridge through the music scene, through Blueprint and that aspect of things. And uh, being a university town, our population is quite transient. So you might get, you know, a solid group of people that are creative, creating, performing. Uh, and a lot of the times there's an expiry date on that just because they finish with their degrees, they move to Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, wherever, and then the next batch sort of moves in. So it, it ebbs and flows, definitely. It's tough, you know, with just how accessible everything is and free everything is on the internet. We're still navigating away, finding our niche, but uh, the bottom line is still people want to have something tangible. It's exciting in that there's always something new coming up. You know there is. There's, you know, next September there'll be a new batch of people or new people connecting. It's, it's nice to connect on that level with different people and people you wouldn't necessarily think you would. Uh, we put on shows and we're very open to anyone, anything. Alberta in general has a very cohesive uh, music scene. We do have the synergy working with the art, culture and community here. It's not a big city, nor it's a small town. It's that right size where when you open a small business, people are out there to, to support. Here we rely a lot on uh, word of mouth. So we connect with the people who already believe in our concepts and our mission and doing what we do. And there's lots of foodies, like I said. We just opened at the right time, at the right place, at the right moment. And we thought a one-stop shop. Um, offer them food here and if they like the food that they're having in our kitchen they're more than happy to just go into our aisles and uh, pick up all the ingredients and go home and create that delicious meal. What we offer here are cooking classes in the evening after we close and it's all hands-on so it's not just watch and let the chef show you and that's the connecting point that we have with everyone that walks through our doors. We know people are coming looking for food we just want to offer them that experience like delicious umami food here. We've been amazed. The community's really embraced us. We've been, we've tried very hard to be in community because this is, this is where we've chosen to live. This is where we work, we play, we raise our kids here. And um, as we've been out at community events, um, it's fun to hear people know, oh, the Red Engine guys are here. Oh, hey. I only go to events because you guys are there and I know I can get a coffee. So it's been a lot of fun and, and uh, it's enabled us to meet a lot of people too, which is I think a big social aspect is, is what coffee is about. I think everybody gets into business and they think, oh, I'm going to work my own hours and <laughs> I'm going to take my own time. They don't, what they don't say is you're going to work, all your hours are now weekends and you're going to work every day and every night and actually there won't be a break. <laughs> but, but you have to like something and if you don't have the passion to do that, I think that's where that's where it can get really long and arduous. Um, but I grew up on a farm, so I think that was really important to us when we started, just to, to know that they're being paid fairly. We can trace our beans back to the farmer. We know they're paid fair trade or higher. We just wanted to bring in sourceable quality beans. It's times I don't know where weeks go and days go and yeah, the, the whole thing. I feel now, I know what like an artist feels like is when you're putting something out there because not everyone is gonna like it, but there is gonna be people that love it and there's gonna be people that go, 
this isn't even coffee, what is this stuff? And so once you get past that and go, you know what, I'm just gonna make this the best I can and this is what we do and so far we, we still like coffee and it, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so. It's always been my dream to have my own business and I love being an entrepreneur because it challenges me every day. I'm not just here to sell things. I don't want to push products on my customers. I want them to find something that they're absolutely in love with. I like to see my customers just having a great experience and to me it's the little things. I'm on a fairly busy street, there's banks and all of the other things that are necessities for most individuals to come downtown but the downtown is fairly expensive to rent or to own a space in. And to me, what I would like to see happen in the downtown core is, is some of those prices come down to allow others the opportunity to build their dreams, to try new things, and to see what fits. There are so many opportunities for growth, and we're growing as a city, we're growing as a downtown core. The businesses are growing individually. Lethbridge wants to grow and wants to experience new things, but there's a lot of people who are hesitant and scared, and so it takes time. And I noticed that initially, even in ordering clothes into the store. If I was too far fashion forward, things would sit into the store until like six months, eight months went by and they were on my clearance rack, and then everybody's looking for them. There are the fashion girls who are one step ahead, and I wanted to keep those people in our town, in our city, instead of driving to Calgary or Edmonton to go shopping. I wanted them to have the opportunity to come somewhere downtown and find what they were looking for. I want them to have that really uplifting experience where they find something that they love, that brings them a little bit of happiness. There's a different level of passion when you own your own business, especially small business owners. They really, they, they, they go the extra mile to service their customers and they're fully invested in, in the community. And I think that's, that's what part of what shopping is. It's, it can be an experience, it's not just ordering something online. And I think that's ultimately what you want in your community. You want to have something that becomes a, a destination. And so we're hoping that Lethbridge eventually becomes a destination location for visitors and travelers and for the community. And Lethbridge is a bit more advanced than some towns of this size um, because the arts community is a, a big deal around here. And I just believe when something when something's right, you just got to do it. And we, we call ourselves Lethbridge's favorite comic gaming and hobby store. Whether you play games, whether you read comics, whether you don't, no matter who you are, we just felt that was big. And that's what I felt was missing from the industry a lot. I, th I think that's weird when a comic shop has a gaming area in the back hidden away. It almost seems like they're embarrassed of the gamers. And that's that stigma, right? That you you'll just tuck them away and they'll, they'll do their thing in the back, right? I didn't want that. I wanted my gaming area in the store open during my hours. So I'm open late so they can stay here late. It's nice for people to make, meet new people playing the same thing. And it just grows that community and grows your love for the for the business and for the for the hobby, right? And I give them a place to come. It's wide open in the middle of the store. And it really drives an energy into the building that you don't get when it's in the back room. People are seeing people really excited about doing something and, and they get excited just like that. I think Lethbridge has been great to us. When we first started out, we didn't have a dime for advertising. We barely had money for bacon, basically. I was young and, and, and stupid and, and thought I'd better open a pizza place. Uh, an opportunity came up. I figured, what, what's the worst that can happen? Let's try this out. You know, I had very few employees. I, I worked open to close and, and slept there sometimes and, uh, and worked hard at, at making good pizza and, um, and just sort of being that local pizza place. Um, when, you know, when people started saying, you have the best pizza in town, we started saying, that's what we should do. We should be the best pizza in town. So, and word got out, and, and business grew and grew and grew, and and um, eventually some publicity came in 2008 when we won Canada's best pizza from Canadian Pizza Magazine, and and that kind of blew us up a little bit, and and, and the thought of growing or expanding became a reality. And um, I was fortunate enough to be able to move to a new location here on 11th Street, 
and it's bigger, it's better, it's more efficient, and it's got a dining room now with full service, and we've got craft beer and wine, and so it's just another way to enjoy our pizza. And so that's where we are today. Um, and it's bigger and better than ever and busier, and we're, you know, mostly lined up every night, especially on weekends, and people love it, and people have said great things about it, and uh, I'm still excited after 13 years to kind of come to work and, and say hi to everybody. I guess it's a small town feel because I know a lot of people and you get to know a lot of faces with a lot of the big city amenities. That's what I'm hoping happens. I hope more people are willing to be open later and, and see that and that makes all the difference. Not just for business but for security and for appearance and, and vibrancy and energy. All that stuff that makes real successful downtown successful. People need to be curious. Know your area. Ask around. Get to know what's going on in your community find out and explore. I love to travel, it's beautiful to travel, but there are so many beautiful things right in your own backyard if you open your eyes.